All right, y'all, this is the third time. So maybe we can get this right now. I had it, the first time I didn't push record. The second time I had it on loop so it would only record a little bit and then erase it, came back, whatever. So now I have it on the right setting, the movie setting. And hopefully we can get this down. Unfortunately for you guys, I'm not gonna take as much time as I did on these other several times. So, enough of me griping. Here's what I'm talking about today. It is a clamp tight tool. Super awesome tool. Um, I will say it is a little bit pricey for what it is. It is basically a, a tube here and you have threaded rod with a uh, roll pin and then you have this that's this that's turned down with a roll pin and a little notch on the end you have a nylon washer uh, I guess for the friction and a nut and whenever you turn the nut it pulls this up this way let me show you what this is good for now uh, she knows the hose clamps uh, they've been around for a long time I don't know what the history is on them but they've been along around for a really long time um, works good uh, they're easy to use the only thing is that they're kind of big and bulky and whenever we uh whenever i reel in the hose i typically step there and reel it in like this and just kind of have it come and run in through my hand well if i'm not paying attention whenever whenever this part comes up it's it's grabbed me a couple times and taken a couple chunks skin off with it but with this and also with the, the hose clamps you have to have different size hose clamps for different nah, different size hoses all you need with this is this tool and wire you can use this galvanized wire you can use this stainless steel wire which this is what I used on here um, obviously stainless steel with water and being outside this is the best way to go so it doesn't um, rust or anything like that the galvanized steel probably won't rust as quickly but i think eventually it would rub off and rust uh, in in emergency situations you can even use a uh, like coat hanger um, but uh, what this would be good for is if you're atv riding uh, dirt bike side by side whatever um, it'd be good to have in a little, you know, you have your little tool and you grab, you know, wrap a good 10 feet around it or something like that. Stick that in your tool pouch. Um, you could go in on all your hose clamps, take your hose clamps off and wrap this around several times. Um, and you can use that. Uh, that way, if you need to make a repair, you can basically clip this off and then come back and you can clip this off and then use the extra wire that you put in there to fix that and then use it on the other hose that you need it on if it's a fuel line hose a, a coolant hose or you know whatever it is a vacuum hose or whatever you'll be able to, to reuse it uh, what else be good for uh, RVs I want to put one in the tractor I'll probably put one in the uh, the toolbox on the trailer also this would probably be good in a 72 hour bug out bag or an emergency bag uh, camping hiking it, it'd be good I could see you could use that in all those situations as well uh, probably a couple in in the cars and truck and all that stuff uh, just because this is this is a really cool tool again this is easy to make lifetime warranty made in the u.s 
I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try and make one. And not to sell because, you know, I'm sure it has a patent on it and all that, but just so I can have several of them for myself and the different applications and stuff. Um, <clears throat> again, this was pretty expensive for what it is. This was $45. Um, yeah, pretty pretty expensive for what it is. I think, honestly, I think this should be in the $10 range, maybe $15. But I think you should sell it for $20, $25 or something like that. Um, I think that's reasonable. But then again, I'm not the one that's, uh, that's manufacturing these. The packaging isn't the best, but... You know, you get your tool and it comes with this little wire nut. I'll show you that here in a second, what what, uh, what that's in there for. Uh, here's the little brochure it comes with. I uh, suggest you check it out. Now this one here, this one has a, an aluminum body and I think that's stainless. I'm not too sure. And the, uh, the all thread part is stainless too, I believe. And then this one, I believe, is all stainless except you have a nice brass uh, turning nut on the end. But this one is like $70. I think it's the same size. But anyways, so here you can kind of... Pause it if you want to read it. These are all the different little applications. So there you go. Um, here's different prices. And finally the instructions. Um, and here's this so you can Okay, so I haven't tried this first one, but I have done this one a few times now. So you'd think I'd get really good at this. Um, this one I just did really fast, um, just to kind of check. This is um, this was the first one. This is this is the day I got it in. I just wanted to check it out. Um, this is the one I did on the last video. This is the one I did on the um, first video. And as you can see, if you if you hurry and do this, it's you can get it done fairly quickly. But if you take your time, you can you can get a pretty nice looking little uh, clamp on there. These are supposedly 10 times stronger than your, your worm clamps or your hose clamps. Uh, which I can see that because if you put it in, if you put it on there nice, it uh, it really bites into the the hoses so uh, like I said this is the last one I did and that that turned out really nice I did three wraps around that now um, you can do as many wraps as you want to you just have to start off really wide and each time kind of go inside of itself until whatever but um, but yeah there's that. Let's let's see if we can. We'll just redo this one for demonstration purposes. So what we'll do? Pull out some wire here. Straighten it. Taking the time to straighten this as much as you can now makes it a little bit easier whenever you go to try and feed it in. So okay, it comes with this little wire nut. Which is, is helpful. 
So you will basically bend that in half. So you have your little loop. Feed that through just like that. You kind of feed it through there one time, two times, ten times, whatever. And I'm going to do twice just because I think that's probably about the best. Well, I don't know about the best, but I think it works about the best anyways. You're doing this, you can kind of shape. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Allergic to work. Get this about where we want it. And take wire nuts off. And what you'll do is you'll put this. You can either just wrap this around there both times really tight or wrap it around a couple times and twist it like a bread tie. Um, it's kind of up to you how you want to do it. But just give it some tension and then you kind of just, as you're tightening it. Now if you're out on the trail, you may not want it to, to look all pretty or whatever. Tightening. That nice and tight as you want it. And then all you do from here, you flip this over like that. No big deal, right? You'll loosen this up. That'll allow you to pull that out. And then Snip off. They say about a quarter of an inch. And turn that inside like that. Push it down. And then you can embed those little pieces. You can embed those little pieces into the to the rubber or whatever until it's uh, not sticking out anymore. There you go. Now you can grab this and it's not going to, one, it's not going to come off. Two, it's not going to snag your hand. Extremely strong. So, Let me, uh, let me wrap this up and we'll put it inside. I'll show you what I did with the, uh, with the air hose. I, uh, like I said, I highly suggest this. I, anyways, I know a lot of you that uh, I think watch my channel um, can relate to some of the stuff that I do. And I think this is a really good tool to have. Uh, there's not hardly anything that can go wrong. I can see the nylon washer wearing out after a while but those you can get at the hardware store so there you go clamp tight tool highly recommended uh, keep it in your toolbox keep it in your bug out bag 72 hour bag you never know uh, keep it in your cars um, trailer your rv whatever uh, millions of uses for this uh, Instead of just tying something off, it actually pulls it tight, and then you can tie it off. And uh, it's it's a great tool. So uh, once it cools off, well, I'll be doing some more some more videos. And once I get well, that paid off for, uh, hopefully I can get some more uh, some tooling, and we can do some turning. See if we can recreate this. And again, um, whenever I recreate this, it's not to resell it. Um, I'm not going to take anything away from these hard-working Americans. <laughs> um, you know, they came up with the tool. They, they deserve all that credit. 
So don't ask me if I if I do make them and it halfway decent, I, I'm not going to sell them. But I am going to make several of them to have in different cars and bug out bags and stuff like that. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and we'll talk to you later. See ya.